In some ways, interpreting a carbon-13 NMR spectrum is more straightforward than interpreting a proton NMR spectrum. We need the contextual information about the molecule. We need to consider how many different carbon environments there are. And from the chemical shift, what each environment is like. The areas of carbon-13 peaks don't tell us anything about the numbers of carbons in those environments. And we don't use splitting patterns in carbon-13. This means we're more reliant on contextual information to help us to solve the molecule. In this case we're told it's an aromatic hydrocarbon and we're given the molar mass. So if we start to interpret a good starting place would be to break down that molar mass and see what parts of the molecule they're going to be. The benzene ring consists of six carbons and six hydrogens so a total mass of 78. And if we subtract that from the 106 for the RFM, then we'll see the rest of the molecule has a mass of 28. Well, that couldn't be three carbons, because that would come to 36. It could be two carbons, so that's 24 plus four hydrogens. Or I suppose it could be one carbon and 16 hydrogens, but that seems a little unlikely. So, a benzene ring with two carbons connected to it. We can consider all the candidate molecules and then use the NMR to select between them. So we could have a benzene ring with an ethyl group connected to it. We could have a benzene ring with a methyl group and then another methyl group connected in one of three different positions. So that's 1,4-dimethylbenzene, here's 1,3-dimethylbenzene, and we could have 1,2-dimethylbenzene. Now we can use the carbon-13 NMR to help us select between these, starting with the chemical shift and the number of environments. So we've got four different peaks, so four different carbon environments. And three of those are in the 120 to 140 parts per million region. So those are the aromatic carbons. We've got three carbons that are different to each other that are part of the benzene ring. And then we've got just one carbon environment which is aliphatic, not part of the benzene ring. And that immediately tells us it can't be ethyl benzene because that would have two different aliphatic carbon environments. So the thing to do now is to label up each of the dimethyl benzenes and see how many aromatic carbon environments there are in them. So those are identical and those four carbons are all identical too. So there's two different carbon environments around the ring in one four dimethyl benzene so it's not going to be that one. It's one and that's identical. There we go. Second carbon, there's nothing the same as that one. Third, they're identical. And fourth one, four carbon environments in one three dimethyl benzene, so it's not that one either. And finally, those are identical carbons, those are identical carbons, and so are they. So we've got three different carbon environments in one two dimethyl benzene, and that fits the NMR spectrum.